Hey guys, it's Climbing Turkey, and today I'm going to be showing you, giving you like a general overview of how I built my rock wall. We started by building the frame for the back. So we took two 2x8s, one for the bottom and one for the top, and then we took two 2x12s, one for the left side and one for the right side. And then we connected them at the corners. Two more 2x12s for the left side and the right side and spaced that out evenly. We got four pieces of plywood, one for here, one for there, and then one for the top. Then we got a fourth piece for the kickboard, but that, that comes later. So we got those three pieces of plywood and attached them to the frame that we'd built right here and here. And also on the sides. Then we built the frame for the kickboard which was basically the same thing for the climbing frame, but just scaled down a little bit. The vertical pieces of wood on the kickboard are two feet tall. The two pieces of horizontal wood are two by eights, just like the horizontal pieces on the climbing frame. And then we basically just cut a piece of plywood in half. So it was four by eight. Now it's two by eight. Two four by fours, it's four inches this way and four inches this way. And then it's 12 feet tall. Another one here. And we had to use hinges actually. See right there at the top? We have a hinge there. We also used hinges to attach the kickboard to the main climbing frame right there. And also over there. And I guess you could put one in the center. So now the part that you can't see is that there's a base underneath the mulch. You can see a little bit like right here. We used these bracket things to attach the kickboard to the base right here. I think these were two by sixes going along there. And then another two by six along there. It's underneath the mulch. We used more brackets to attach the four by fours to the base. Extra pieces of two by six for s stability and just use screws or nails to attach it to the plywood right there and then to the 4x4 right there and then one on the other side and we also put them lower right here smaller ones and over there and then all the way up there another tiny piece of 2x6 just to keep it together because the hinges were kind of breaking okay so that's it for the wall the crash pad was really simple, it cost only about $200. I got foam from Joanne's Fabrics, it really can be any foam. This foam was 5 inches thick. It's pretty durable and cushy. And then I got a tarp and some Gorilla Tape. And I kind of just wrapped it up like a present and now it's waterproof, weatherproof, everything. 